Welcome to the Raw Experience ho, ho, ho. with Chris, where honesty is at the forefront of every video. Cracking, Chris here. We're back with a prelude to episode three. What's been going on? What's been behind the scenes? And what's taking place to give you guys that engineering grade episode three on the Chitty Tech Q2? That's right. We've been hard at play behind the scenes, testing everything from ASA. ASA glass fiber, ABS, ABS plus, ABS glass fiber, ABS carbon fiber, ASA carbon fiber, PET G, nylon and TPU and all the other stuff that we mentioned and spoke about earlier in episode one and two and the short that you may have seen also as well. Well, I've been working very hard on episode three and episode three has taken quite some time to do. As you can well imagine, the filament, it's going to take quite a long time to dry out and the preparation and calibrations especially with printing high, such high end volume filaments does take some time so i decided today basically just to give you guys an update on what i've been doing and why it's taken a bit of time so i thought i'd give a quick video prior to christmas just to give you a bit of a prequel update as to episode three what i've done so far what's going to be happening and with episode three around the corner what dropping next week where I'm at and what I'm up to. So I'm still waiting on the Chitty Tech multicolor box from Chitty Tech. Unfortunately, us Aussies down here at the bottom of the world, we receive everything at the last point of the shipping lane. So it is what it is, not much we can do about it. Apart from that, I'm waiting on that. I was gonna do the color box, uh, which allows us, you can see I've installed some magnets there. And that allows us to put some materials in uh, on the actual frame that I've printed. I've printed that out of ASA and that came out absolutely beautiful. I've installed some magnets on there and then you use the Chitty Tech Q1 build plate and you put your clothing in and then the build plate goes over the top with the material wrapped around the build plate and the magnets pin it down enabling you to 3D print on the clothing. Unfortunately, I was waiting for the color box to arrive and it hasn't arrived yet. I've since had an update from Chitty Tech that it's arriving. Should be in my hands by the end of September. We're getting close, being that it's just around the corner from Christmas. If you're watching this, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if you watched it closer to the New Year. But I'm sure you're having a great holiday or about to either way. But moving along, I have printed some things as you can see in front of us. Shout out to G Tech for supplying a lot of the materials as well. I've also printed the G, uh, TPU tower mount, which goes to the Chitty Tech back here and mounts on the black back section of the Chitty Tech mount. And this mount can be found on printables and that allows us to direct feed the actual TPU directly onto the back of the printer and then direct feed the TPU line straight in, obviously because we can't feed that through the Bowden tube. So that's that one, I've printed that. That came out absolutely flawless. I'm not gonna be able to showcase all the prints because I am still printing some nylon. Funnily enough, I've actually had some uh, issues, not so much with the printer, but with the profile. Uh, yes, even us professionals have issues with the profiles uh, where I've had issues with carbon fiber printing uh, nylon rather than normal nylon. The normal nylon's printed relatively well and the carbon fiber nylon not so much well so that's it is what it is i've got it almost ironed out and i'll have some nice showcase models for you guys and ladies and gents and people all over the globe next week into the new year uh, from that you can see i've printed some nice pla gears i've done some pressure advanced pit g i have to say so far from the updates uh that what i have done so far i've also done a frame which looks like uh, something that you shouldn't print is actually from a uh, compound bow for a fishing rod holder uh, and also a nylon uh, fuel cap for a reservoir for a petrol cap for a, oh, for a car that I nearly dropped uh, as well as we still will be testing in episode three the new application that I'm running right here if you zoom in there you'll be able to see that on the big screen and that is a power meter and that will show us in episode three what we'll be looking at as far as how much power does the heated enclosure with the heated bed and the nozzle 
printing medium to high-end engineering grade filament upwards of 250 to 300 degrees Celsius. And so far, I've been quietly shocked and surprised based on the twin power supply that comes in this printer that enables it to have the heated chamber, how much power it does uh, utilize. How many kilowatts do you guys think it actually uses? Comment below, and that'll be revealed in episode three in the full final part three episode of the Chitty Tech Q2 full deep dive review. That's right, full deep dive review, as I'm known for, as I get requested to do for. And also, this nice little gadget here, which is a infrared IR sonar, sonar emonicity laser, which detects uh, the heat volume from different materials, not only in a broad spectrum beam analysis, but also in a pinpoint accuracy analysis, where it's basically we can operate it and detect different positions of different materials by pinpointing the location with a laser not sure if you can see that or not. <laughs> I'm not going to point it at the camera because it's not good to point lasers at people, that's for sure. Uh, but basically, by having this uh, nice thermo infrared razor, a laser, razor, laser, it enables us to accurately temp test the temperatures of the build volume and the build plate to see whether the build plate is actually getting the actu accurate uh, temperature across the whole spectrum of the build plate and whether the build plate is actually within its parameters of its bed mesh is getting equal heat for your filament first layer and adhesion. So that's something that'll be involved in episode three. That was a little hidden gem I just dropped there for you as well. And moving on from that, we'll also be looking at not only that, obviously the power usage, the laser mesh. Uh, I've got a couple little prints I've got installed, which is a little bit of a, oh, let me say a, a little bit of a surprise uh, and also using a, a new filament that hasn't been around for quite some time that I'll be testing on the Q2 as well uh, where I'll be utilizing that in episode three as well. So looking forward to completing this, uh, it's taken some time unfortunately, uh, but bear with me, we'll get through it together. And uh, by the time you've watched this video and you've had a nice Christmas and holiday season, whether it whereabouts or wherever you are in the world season's greetings and i hope to see you in the new year with episode three on the chitty tech q2 engineering grade full test spectrum long form deep dive and final episode of the overview part four possibly or i might just do a single video with the chitty tech multicolor box which i will have but in my hands the first week of January, fingers crossed, Chitty Tech, I hope you're listening. <laughs> Please get me that Chitty Tech box uh, so I can showcase the multicolor printing and so we can dive into that Chitty box and see how well it actually prints with all these filaments after episode three. So stay tuned for that one. Season greetings, guys, girls, ladies, gents, and whoever peeps and peepers, whoever you are right around the world. I hope you're having a great holiday season, a great Xmas if you celebrate it. If not, enjoy the holidays, enjoy your time off, wherever you are, hot, cold, snowing, or like me, whew, 30 degree temperatures. Enjoy your holidays, enjoy your family, and don't forget to look after yourself. I'll see you guys in the next episode of episode three in the new year. Merry Christmas, this is Chris, and I'll see you on the next one.